Okay, so really quick tutorial um, showing how to use Uframe um, at a very simple level uh, with a pooling solution like Pool Boss. Um, currently that's free on the Unity Asset Store, so it's quite nice um, to, to use that. Um, so uh, pooling solutions um, just help to opt optimize um, and a lot of the tutorials so far don't show you how to do that. So um, here's hoping that it uh, helps somebody let me just click and play. So it's a really simple scenario. You've just got some balls being generated um, onto a onto a floor over here, and you can see that this is using the normal Unity instantiate and destroy. Um, and what it's doing is it's picking up this ball from the resources section or resources folder, and then just instantiating them. But it will be nice if you could use a pooling solution. So uh, I managed to get it to work with Pool Boss. Um, so let's um, you know go through that and see what happens. Um, before I do that, I'll just quickly run you through the project. It's um, single scene, uh, ball game scene manager set up as per normal. Okay, and um, that's normally all done for you um, by uh, Uframe. Uh, click onto ball game um, and basically um, ignore the. I mean, it's, it's set up to run with a couple of states, so it's playing or game over. When it starts playing, then it will start generating. Ball every second. Um, there is a ground, but it doesn't really do anything. It's attached to the ground view, um, and then you've got a collection of balls. Okay, and the thing about the collection that you have to be careful of is when you click on uh, ball game root, you must um, initialize a view model over here, and then that exposes these bindings. Okay, and that means that you can set up um, a collection. Um, which is this ball's um, game object that's dragged into here uh, as a container. So that holds uh, the dynamic inst instantiations of ball balls that are generated um, within the uh, in the game environment. Okay, so um, let's go back and um, let's go to modern develop. Um, how do we um, change that to use pool boss? So um, basically, you've got the ball game root controller, and this is the part that um, just starts off and um, starts co-routine, so it goes from play down to here, and then starts co-routine to spawn the balls uh, every every second. Ball game root view, root view, you have to make some changes. So if I'm uh, uncommenting this part here, you can see that um, basically, um, if it's normal Uframe, um, it will just return base create balls view, and that pulls it out of the resources folder. And does a normal Unity instantiation. And what we need to do is to um, uh, use Pool Boss to spawn that. Okay, and it it, it it spawns it using this line of code. Um, that's the ball to spawn, which is over here. Okay, and what happens is that's set up in the inspector. If we click on Ball Game Root View. Um, it's over here, ball to spawn. Okay, forget the colored balls at the moment. That's something else. Um, and then after you do that you have to um, get the ball view and initialize that view and then initialize the data. So it's a little bit more complicated um, because um, it's not clear uh, from the documentation, but I've somehow managed to pick that up um, through the forums. Okay, um, so you have to make that change there. And um, then also um, when the balls get removed, um, I do a despawn. Okay, so uh, normally I don't have to bother doing that at all. Right, um, but you can look at the code and sort of see if it makes sense. Uh, but basically, that's despawns it from the pooling solution. The next part I need to do is um, over here in ball view. So, okay, when the object is spawned, um, I um, tap into that. So, pool boss allows any spawned objects to have um, that as a method. I then call the awake uh, the awake function, and that's where um, any ball, whether it's in the normal solution or pool boss, is initialized. So that's where it drops down into the middle from from above. Uh, and then finally, the thing that I don't do is I don't uh, when when this thing gets destroyed, and maybe there's a better place to put this. Um, I don't actually destroy it. I let uh, the ball game root view handle that when it does the uh, remove from the binding uh, of the collection. And it seems to work okay. So if, if I just click on save, okay, ignore the stuff down here, but hopefully that's enough uh, to make sense. Um, then go back to Unity, okay, click on play. 
okay and now what you can see is you can see these clones okay sorry about that postpone um, and you can see these are coming out of pool boss okay so over here you can see these things dynamically falling out of there but what it means is that um, dynamic instantiation is uh, using the pool boss and um, let me just show you how that's set up in case I didn't do that before um, and that is um, over here okay so I've set up 20 of these things essentially um, if you follow um, the tutorial uh, for pool boss you basically um, have to find that uh, prefab which is somewhere over here click on that and then you create a pool boss prefab and that creates this thing in the scene it's important that you do it that way as opposed to trying to drag it in because it needs to do some kind of connection or something um, but uh, there you go uh, hopefully that's uh, of use to somebody and um, uh, till next time